Are you looking for the best e-readers? In this video we will look at some of the 6 best e-readers on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Kindle Paper White. If you plan on purchasing books primarily from Amazon, taking advantage of the ebooks included with Prime and listening to audiobooks through Audible, you'll want a Kindle e-reader. The Amazon Kindle Paperwhite is the best e-reader overall and offers superior compatibility with everything Amazon has to offer over other brands on the market, and its newest features address previous gaps with their competitors. When you hop into a candlelit bubble bath, don't do this while your device is charging, you can now adjust the white LED lights to a warmer amber, which some people find more pleasing in low light settings. With a 6.8-inch screen and over 4 times more LED lights, we think this is a worthy upgrade from the entry-level Kindle. That said, if you're willing to pay more for physical page-turn buttons, a little more screen room, automatic rotating page orientation, and cellular connectivity, the Amazon Kindle Oasis may be a better choice. You can also check for refurbished or pre-owned e-readers at Amazon Renew. Learn more about how we gauge sustainability. At Number 2. Kobo Sage. Voracious readers know that the local library can be a great resource for everything from the latest bestsellers to obscure regional history. With Overdrive, a digital distributor of ebooks used by libraries in a number of countries including the United States and Canada, you can skip handling well-worn dust jackets and check out your books right from your e-reader. Overdrive isn't exclusive to Kobo, but we think the Kobo Sage's writing features in conjunction with the Kobo Stylus are a perfect counterpart to resourceful scholars and the best e-reader for library books. When you create separate notebooks within the device for your ideas and plans, you can convert handwritten notes to text using the Advanced Notebook option and export them with Dropbox in various file formats. Because of limitations in storing and exporting annotations on materials with Digital Rights Management (DRM), we do not recommend purchasing the Sage with the goal of marking up borrowed ebooks, which are automatically returned to the library's content list on their due date. Instead, it's best to look at this model as a dual reader and electronic notebook. The Kobo Clara HD, our best value pick, also works great with library books at a much lower price point. At number 3. Kobo Libra 2. Just like the Amazon Kindle Oasis, the Kobo Libra 2 has page turn buttons, light customization from white to amber, and is waterproof to IPX8 standards at a similar price point. However, for fans of Japanese comics and graphic novels in black and white, we think Kobo's native support of CBZ and CBR file formats is a standout difference. You can convert these formats on Kindle, but if you're buying an e-reader for manga you might as well save yourself some time. You'll also get more built-in storage without having to pay more. The Libra 2 is an upgraded version of the Libra H20. If you prefer an 8-inch screen to the Libra 2 7-inch and only want to use your device for reading, you should also consider the Kobo Forma, a replacement of the Aura 1. Keep in mind though, that it doesn't have Bluetooth compatibility and can't be used with headphones and speakers to listen to Kobo audiobooks. At Number 4. Kindle. The entry-level Kindle is a magnificent device if you're a digital bookworm whose eyes are getting tired of looking at a phone or tablet display. The Kindle C ink screen doesn't give off as much light and makes reading text a lot easier, especially for extended periods of time. The Kindle C ink display is also far less reflective, so you can read outside on a sunny day without being distracted by a glare. Its screen isn't as sharp as the display found on premium Kindles, but your eyes will adjust in a couple of minutes and you likely won't be able to tell the difference. The one meaningful feature missing from this Kindle model is water resistance, which has rolled out to all of Amazon's other e-readers. If you plan on reading at the beach, beware of this limitation. The Kindle has 16 GB of storage, which is enough space to hold hundreds of books or a handful of audiobooks. If you plan on listening to audiobooks a lot, you may want to upgrade to a Kindle with more storage, or use an app on your phone. One of our favorite Kindle features is its battery, which can last for weeks between charges. Just remember, if you use the Kindle's backlights to read at night, you may need to plug it in more often. The e-reader market has become saturated with many worthwhile options, but the entry-level Kindle will set you back less than $100, and you can get it for far less if you wait for a sale. 
If you've been trying to get back into reading, or want to carry your library around in your bag, get this Kindle. At Number 5. Kindle Oasis. For those who get most of their content through Amazon, the Kindle Oasis offers premium features for heavy reading. That includes a bigger screen with the same light color adjustability as the paper white. This model also includes extra connectivity by offering both Wi-Fi and the use of cellular data. Pretty much anywhere you can get a connection, Wi-Fi or cellular, you can read the Oasis. The Oasis also has page turn buttons. Touch screens are great, but sometimes it's easier to have a physical button to push. The screen of the Oasis automatically rotates, so you're always looking at a screen that's right side up. Plus, it brings the same waterproofing, memory options, up to 32GB, and cloud storage as the paper white. The only downside to this model is that it's expensive for the upgrades. However, if all of your reading content comes through Amazon, it's probably worth having their premium reader. At Number 6. Apple iPad. The Apple iPad gives you far more than the average e-reader and comes with the price to show it. If you want a larger color screen and the ability to check email, shop Amazon, and read your favorite blogs, the Apple's basic iPad can do it. You also get access to a huge library of Apple's apps to do everything from making a shopping list to organizing your house or playing games. This model is compatible with Apple Pencil for note-taking apps, too. The basic iPad comes with up to 256GB storage. Imagine all of the books, audio, and otherwise you can store with that many GBs. The iPad also includes a wide range of covers, keyboards, and other accessories, 